Today we're doing an oil change on a Mitsubishi Triton, a very simple task that you can do at home. Firstly we've got to jump under the car and locate the sump. The sump is located directly below the engine, but first remove the stone guard. Okay, the next stage is a little bit messy, so once you've loosened the bolt, remove it by hand ensuring you have your drip tray directly underneath. Ensure your drip tray is at least an 8 litre capacity because in the engine there's about 6.5 litres of oil. After about 15 to 20 minutes of letting it drain, we replace the bolt back into the sump, nip it up with our spanner and we are done underneath the car. Now we move into the engine bay, and this is where we need to remove the oil filter. That is found on the driver's side beneath the turbo. Unscrew and remove the oil filter by turning it anti-clockwise. Now there's still going to be oil in the filter, so take care, this could be a bit tricky. You don't want to spill this throughout your engine. Now it's time to replace the oil filter. The Ryko Z313 is a perfect replacement for the Mitsubishi Triton turbo diesel. Rub some oil into the black seal on the new filter before replacing it back in the car. There's instructions on the side of the filter to let you know how tight this needs to be done back up. Always use the recommended oil for your car. This can be found in your handbook. Now it's time to replace the oil. Top of the engine, through the filler cap, about 6.5 litres. Check in regularly not to overfill. Now that you've filled the engine and you've checked the dipstick to make sure that it's full of oil, turn the car on and make sure there's no warning lights coming up on the dash. So there's no warning lights coming up. So now we go back to the engine bay and replace our filler cap and we have completed the oil change. So that's the oil change in less than an hour. So get out there and give it a go.